March 26, Thursday of the fourth week of Lent, a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my behalf, my testimony cannot be verified. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. He sent emissaries to John, and he has testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you did not accept me. Yet, if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you have believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord The Father has testified. The scriptures provide abundant evidence of Jesus' intimate relationship with his Abba, his Father. Indeed, Christians firmly believe that Jesus is the true Son of the Heavenly Father. In the Gospel, Jesus further asserts his identity and his authority to teach. I came in the name of my Father, yet some Jews reject both Jesus and his message. Do I fully accept the person of Jesus and his authoritative teaching? Thank you.